right, y'all heard about Costco. This is a true story, y'all. I read Costco, I read it online. Costco is now selling caskets. Did y'all read that? Yeah. Costco is now selling caskets. These people are losing their mind. You go to Costco, give me a jar of dip pickles, a case of aluminum foil, and grandma, she's not feeling too good. <laughs> give me that blue casket up on the wall. Only, only trouble is you got to buy 12 of them to get a good deal, you know? <laughs> I'm dying. He is the one, the only comedian, George Wallace. And hey, he is joining us this morning that? ahead of his appearance at Helium Comedy Club this weekend. Man, you've already had an eventful morning. I have been crazy. I told them to take me to Meridian, 1950 Meridian. They took me to 1950 Meridian Road. I went out in the country. People were picking cotton. It was a Greenville or something like that. This was so far out of town. I had yeah. to take another flight just to get over here. I'm not lying. But and you were just at the hotel, like just down the road from us, right? Don't bring like, that up. Don't bring that up. <laughs> right. That's a true well, story. I'm at a nice hotel, like $800 a night, right? And they got a small bar of soap just like that. I was there yesterday. That? Sm that small, and I guess I was shaking a shower, and all of a sudden, I go, "What happened to the soap?" <laughs> and then yesterday, the last night, I was on. I said, "My butt is itching." <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's crazy, just. But it's good to be in Indianapolis. I haven't yeah. been here in a long time, and if you can't laugh in this city, people are saying stupid stuff. First of all, I flew into the international airport, uh -huh. and I want to make one thing perfectly clear: uh -oh. the only thing international in this city is the House of Pancakes. Let's get that straight <laughs> right now, okay? Let's get this. <laughs> But then I walk into the airport and say, Mr. Wallace, you in town? <laughs> you say, yeah. I said, you're looking at me, ain't you? So, but it's good to be in this. I haven't been in a long time. I've been in Las Vegas. The new Mr. Vegas is now here in Indianapolis. Isn't that yeah. nice? We're it's, so glad you're it's here. It's so good to have you here in Indy. It was yesterday when, when we found out you were coming, we ended up in the rabbit hole of just watching <laughs> clips of you. And I, and I grew up watching you, so it was fun to get back and remember some of those bits. <laughs> What's it been like for you when you look at your career really generations of fans and you're still as popular today as you were in the 80s even more so i am so blessed to be able to do what i do and sometimes i choke up. i like to thank god because i'm going to just tell you the truth all i do is lie i just make up stuff <laughs> i just lie but it's so good to be uh, still doing comedy and still trying to uh uh, I'm still evolving. I just did a new TV show coming out in the fall with uh, Laverne Cox. It's a new, oh, yeah. instead of Sanford and Son, it's Sanford and Dora, almost like, yeah. And I'm also working with the great Norman Lear. So I'm I'm as new today as ever. I've been doing it for 47 wow. years. That's amazing. Well, and that's what I wonder. Like, what's the secret? Because, you know, like he was saying, back in the 80s, I mean, you have to evolve, yeah. right? In your, mat your material. The secret oh, is, is new jokes. Thing? New jokes. That's all lies in here. Just is this, like, is this because secret? life is a lie. If you ain't lying, you ain't living. If you ain't lying, you ain't living. You can't read my writing, so I'm not going to read that. It's like a doctor's writing. Say, yeah. Like I was just thinking uh, about the Cheesecake it. Factory. That's a, that's not that's a lie. That's a restaurant. That's not a factory. Yeah, that's and I was thinking technically... It ain't a pie. It ain't a cake. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a pie, it's right? A pie. You know, it's cheese pie. Don't cheese pie. And is, is it really cheese? Well, it's more sugar yeah. than, than there is uh, a, a cheese. So, so they should call it sugar pie. You be, you be thinking. Okay. See right there? You be uh, thinking. Yeah, I, should, right. I should write these so jokes. So I be thinking about them. Being, that's how you write jokes. You know, like you, you read the vitamin. What is it? One of the vitamins? Oh, yeah. Read the instruction. What does it say? It says two Take two. You are really good. See? You should be coming. We, you know we what? should be on stage together. You're going on at Helium. If you haven't been out, <laughs> listen, if you haven't been out to a comedy club lately, and you, it's time to go. It's yeah. really time. A lot of people have been stuck in, even from COVID. And then, like I said, that, and I don't want to get into that because I, I lost a lot of friends during the yeah. pandemic. Well, people need to laugh, right? Yeah, More than ever, well, people need to laugh COVID right now. Let's make it perfectly clear. They just owe me money, so I had to get rid of them. So. <laughs> but I talk about anything and everything. I have no act. I, that's why I have to keep this yellow pad with me to make it. Yeah. Because it, that's a legal pad. If they're I, not I on like pad, this. they're not legal. I mean, I got, and I write jokes on everything. Did you just see? I know, I see that. Envelopes and look at how all that stuff. Yeah. So it's all about having fun and enjoying life. No matter what you do, it's just a. I, I, I got receipts here. I'm just writing everything. Well, this is crazy for me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Go ahead. Well, I, I like this. It says, um, I love to lie. It's good to laugh. Well, there's four L's I like in my life. You got to listen. Live, you got love, to learn, learn. You got to uh, laugh. And you got to lie. You, forget, you definitely got to lie. That's the one you got to do. What's you your best lie? My best lie. Well, I've been lying all my life. Here's my best <laughs> lie. And these young kids in here, they won't even get this joke. Peggy, oh. my good friend, producer of the show, she's going to okay. get this joke. Oh, she's so when get I it. had a curfew when I was a kid, I couldn't make it home before midnight. Yeah. I would call my mom on the telephone and she would pick it up. Hello. I would say, oh, it's okay, Ma, I got it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. <laughs> because, right. Yeah, because it was the same line. Listen, you some young, see, these young kids, they don't know what a like, landline is. Why would you ever tell them? Look at me, they go like. <laughs> What's a landline? <laughs> these young kids are so good to tell. I love to tell that joke. And, uh, <laughs> but I love to lie because life is just like, I've been lying, you know, from Santa yeah. Claus to the Easter egg to the Easter bunny. 
on the churches a lie. Yeah. You know, when you go, especially a black church, a preacher walk up in the pulpit with the Bible in his hand and tell everybody, I won't be long. Just let out and lie. <laughs> just just let out and lie. It's good to lie, though. No. <laughs> it's good for the soul, isn't it? Laughter. You go to church. I, yeah. Because you just said laughter Doctor is, is healing for the, the soul. soul. That's right. right. That's right. And being in Indianapolis, I'm just going to drive around here and see what's going on and and, uh, and make some jokes about this city. Uh, and it's going to be fun because it's fun everywhere you go. People need to laugh and get out. And, and laughter is free medicine. That's it's the right. best medicine in the, in the, the world. Best and we medicine. encourage people to overdose on laughter and keep it in the reach of children. Well, and that's what that's what they could do this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Healing, healing Comedy, Comedy Club. Club. George, thank you so mm-hmm. much for coming and hanging out with us and mm-hmm. finally getting here. Thank you so much. If you keep looking through it, there's a lot of money. There's money in here. Do I get to keep this? Tony, Randy, there's money in here. I am it's so happy to be here. Indianapolis has been a long time. Mr. Vegas is here. It's usually $150 to see me in Las Vegas, but you can see me here. Boom. How much? Boom. Boom. Fifty dollars gonna get fifty five. Gonna get sixty five, seventy five dollars. Oh, he's gonna an get, auctioneer. Get a Come on in. What's the name of my club? Soul. Uh, Helio. 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 Yeah, they said. Oh yeah, he's full of air. <laughs>